Thank you for joining us tonight. Small businesses have struggled throughout the pandemic and many needed a helping hand to keep things going. The today owners spoke with owners of small businesses, spoke with some leaders from Washington, D.C. about the help they still need, including the leader of the Small Business Administration. Local 5's Carson J.S. Reichardt tells us more. Iowa has over 250,000 small businesses and they employ just under half of all workers in the state. Today, the head of the U.S. Small Business Administration visited several of them right here in the metro. Isabella Guzman, head of the U.S. Small Business Administration, joined Congresswoman Cindy Axney for trips to multiple local businesses, including Momir, St. Kilda Collective, and Fox Brewing. All of the business owners, like Brian Fox, had made use of SBA resources to help get through the pandemic. And there was a lot of uncertainty around the different federal programs like PPP. Uh, our local administrator, Jane Armstrong, with the SBA was a great person to be able to reach out to and just give me a lot of peace of mind. The two DC officials participated in a round table at the Greater Des Moines Partnership, speaking to owners about everything from supply chain issues to struggles with retaining employees. While the national economy may be strong, that doesn't always make life easier locally. Strongest economic growth in 40 years, uh, but businesses are still feeling the sting of inflation, and so uh, a lot of them have had to you know, pivot their models or, or just adapt. According to the SBA, the organization lent out over $346 million to small businesses in 2021, a 21% increase from the previous year. Guzman told me that she's working to keep that forward momentum, helping Iowa keep up with bigger states like California and New York. Fortify those networks and strengthen the SBA's district offices around the country to uh, partner with them to ensure that they're getting out the priority issues that small businesses are, are facing today. In Des Moines, Carson J.S. Reichardt, Local 5 News, we are Iowa. And another small business statistic, according to the SBA, 90% of those PPP loans, like the one Fox received for his business, went to employers with 20 or fewer employees.